friends welcome back to unity 3d teacher tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how to spawn a game object using a AR foundation in a augmented reality environment we are going to see how to spawn and you can able to see the game object in a real time view like this tap you can able to tap and create a game object with the help of a plane detection and you can spawn simultaneously like this and you can able to look and feel by rotating a game object also let me show you that yeah so like this so we are going to see how to do that in in this video so check it out So let's create a game object. Uh, let's name it as Pawn Controller. Okay. And then create a script called Spawn Manager. Okay. So drag and drop the spawn manager to spawn controller open the script so here uh, we are going to have uh, two variables uh, so generally it's going to be a normal instantiation uh, similar we doing for a game so let's create a game object called object to spawn and then next variable is going to get a placement indicator which we seen in previous tutorial how to make a pl placement indicator so we are going to get that control pcm equal to find object type of placement manager so it is going to find a reference of that particular script so let's play and see so here you can able to see it's getting a placement manager from there to the spawn controller game object so everything has set now next we create a cube so i have one nice uh, 3d game object to chicken which i got from master throw so this object we are going to instantiate at a runtime you in a ar system so let me make a rotation 18 180 because the air camera is in opposite direction so drag and drop the toon chicken to the queue and then uh, remove the collider because we are using a raycast so I don't need that and remove the base collider make sure that it is exactly on the plane and then rename to toon handler and let's create a folder called prefab and drag and drop the Tune handler and delete the tune handler from the hierarchy. Okay, everything has been done now. So make sure that you have in a, you have in a exact position so that it will instantiate in ac accurately. So drag and drop the tune handler to the object to spawn. So if we play, everything has been set up. So next thing is we are going to find the touch system. So to find a touch system we, we are going to use input system called if input dot touch count is greater than zero and input dot touch of face where face is need to be begin okay face touch face dot begin okay so it has done now so okay it must be error oh, okay you need to have uh, equal to since it's a conditional okay everything has done now next we want to instantiate the game object game object obj and equal to instantiate of the object you like to spawn 
and then that object position we need is placement position place pcm dot transform dot position comma pcm dot transform dot rotation okay not position rotation okay it's done now so this is it so it's like a normal instantiation system if you are uh, you doing for a gaming system similar like uh, let this is a game object and then referring everything finding the touch everything has been done now so let's build and check in a mobile device similar like normal build we have set set every system in place it is so we don't want to worry but so so like this you can able to make a output so that's it so you can able to spawn the game object and check the output uh, so if you think this video is very helpful for you please subscribe us and please press the notification bell icon so that you can get Updation whenever I am trying to upload the video. So thank you and thanks for watching